All right, Coach, so today, obviously, a little bit different of a practice for a Wednesday, shorter game week. How do you guys feel after a big win on Kansas going into this one against Utah, a big opponent coming you know, up? You always want to ride that momentum, and I and I think, you know, winning is always good, you know, for for the, the psyche and everything else. But, uh, you know, coming into a short week, we got to make sure that we're focused, um, take a little bit off of their legs, but uh, remain focused, and those practices have to be detailed. And so I thought you think we've done, done a good job the last two days. The last couple weeks on the road against Texas Tech and uh, Texas State, the running game had a little bit more struggles than the first few games of the season. But I feel like against Kansas, that was kind of rejuvenated. More yards in the ground, over 300 for you guys as a total in terms of uh, a total rushing yards. How do you feel about the way the offensive line and the running backs kind of worked together and got a, did a better job on the ground? Yeah, you know, the Kansas? offensive line did a heck of a job in, in order to run for 300 yards. It puts us in a good spot because they're taking care of the line of scrimmage. I thought they controlled the line of scrimmage, and we're going to have to do that again. If they control the line of scrimmage, I have faith that our running backs will do a, a good job you know, being patient and getting through the holes. And then uh, all of our guys are physical backs. And so um, that's just the psyche of our room and, and uh, making sure that we have positive momentum all the, all the time. You think there's anything different that your guys did individually uh, in, in the Kansas game compared to other ones that maybe changed the way the outcome went? I don't think so. I think that, uh, I think that uh, you know, from a professionalism standpoint, what we teach in the classroom has to transfer to on the field, uh, making sure that their minds are right. And we're playing physical downhill football. Uh, the number one thing is taking care of the football. And, and we've been fortunate this year to do it. So this upcoming game against Utah is expected to be a very physical one, the way that they play, the way that you guys play. Uh, how do you think that you guys fare against another physical team and the way you guys have to battle in that? In that no, I think we fare really well. You know, it, it all comes down to a mano a mano. You know, my guy against your guy, and who's going to be who's going to be uh, better in the fight. And I think that uh, I like our chances, and and uh, that's the psyche of this team. And so I want to make sure that I reiterate: it's about us. Uh, like Coach did again, said, worry about us, and then we'll see what that fight takes us on, on Friday night. How do you feel about the current uh, strength of the depth? Obviously, you guys are in a pretty healthy position right now, and having a lot of backs that can play different roles, different positions across like the, the yeah. back front. We're very fortunate, you know, with the, the amount of uh, depth in that room. Anybody can come in and, and play, and uh, they all get along. They, you know, they uh, make each other better. The competition is good, and so I expect that there's no drop-off with any of those backs, and, and they've done a good job. Coach, um, you've been here before Kenny in, in his first two years. How do you think he's changed as a head coach, and how has he changed the program from before he got here to this point right now? You know, just just that uh, uh, in the overall mission statement, you know, uh, tough the ball, uh, reiterating those things, making sure that our guys play hard. I think they've done a good job um, doing that uh, and, and making sure that we take care of ourselves, simplifying things and letting our guys play fast. Um, but, uh, you know, his message, I think all the coaches reiterate his message in our rooms, um, and it's a good message, you know, tough, the ball, smart, um, and playing as a team. And I think the team part has come and shown in the last couple of games. It is a huge emphasis on, like you said, playing hard, playing with high effort. How do you think, does he have a unique ability to instill that in players? Have you seen him... Um, with the ability to connect players better, would you say? Or? Absolutely, you know, and he's a guy that is approachable. Um, uh, so, and every head coach is different. Every head coach has their strengths. Um, but, uh, you know, him, him being approachable, I think our staff, being a, a good staff, being good men, being approachable, I think that uh, it helps as well. And so we're all in it together and we're trying to do what uh, that mission statement that Coach Dillingham has, has provided for us. And, and we're living by that and making sure that we build this culture. And it takes time. Um, and getting the right guys in and, and uh, making sure the staff does all the, the right things as well. And so um, I think it's it's growing and it's building and it's getting better and better. Coach, and then last year, kind of 55-3 to three to Utah, it's hard to forget a loss like that. Um, one year later, it feels like you guys are much more prepared to kind of handle a challenge that the Utes can bring. Um, how do you feel you guys have changed as an offense um, to be able to prepare for that strong Utah defense? You know, uh, the depth in yeah. the offense. Last year we struggled a lot yeah. with, with the depth part of it and, and uh, you know, playing guys that uh, um, were in the second team and third team depth. But uh, I think from an offensive standpoint, I think that uh, our guys are physical up front. Coach Saga has done a good job. And it takes that time, that second year of those guys building uh, camaraderie and his coaching staff building camaraderie and, and knowing how to uh, push the buttons of, of, of our players and making sure we get the best out of them. Uh, and that all comes with time. How, how much does that um, part of the offense kind of like obviously tough tough loss last year to these guys? How does that kind of play into the mental aspect of the way that you guys prepare or see this game coming up? You know, I don't think that we worry about them. Uh, 
and Coach Dillingham has said it right, you know, we worry about us, what we do. What got us here to be four and one is the physicality, running the football and doing those things. Uh, we got to make sure that we, you know, get better every single week. And that's the goal uh, of building this program is getting better every single week. And if we can do that and just worry about our us, we'll see. I like our, I like how the uh, chips play. Obviously, anything schematically you can tell us about what you've seen in preparing for this game coming up? No, you know, they're, they're simple um, uh, in regards to get, trying to get you into third down and then they bring all the exotics. And Coach uh, Winningham and Coach Scott has done a good job there and, and an incredible job. And they play physical, so we're going to have to match their physicalness. All right, thank you, Coach. Awesome.